Well, in that letter, State Superintendent Ryan Walters maintains that the teachers being asked to pay back that $50,000 misrepresented their experience and qualifications. Now, he's also accusing the media of spreading misinformation about the program. State Superintendent Ryan Walters is standing by the state's teacher bonus program tonight, touting it in a new letter to state legislators. Walters says hundreds of teachers were recruited to Oklahoma, the most in state history. Last week, we reported at least nine teachers had been given bonuses, then were told to repay the state as they didn't actually qualify for the money. Walters seemed to target those reports, asking lawmakers to not let the success of the teacher bonus program be overshadowed but didn't clarify which media reports were inaccurate. He told lawmakers the state is working to get that money back to, quote, ensure accountability of taxpayer money while keeping teachers in the classroom. One teacher who's been impacted and filed a lawsuit told KOCO today the information she provided was not misrepresented, saying, quote, it's the state's job to comb through the applications and make sure those people qualified. She went on to say they had her contact information and could have verified questions with her but didn't saying it's an insult to her intelligence and that she wishes she quote never applied it has caused my family and I so much distress now Walter says that the state is continuing to verify that teachers meet these requirements including staying in the state of Oklahoma for five years after they get the bonus. Now he says that if it's found that a teacher doesn't meet these qualifications that money could be pulled. <laughs>